Positioning and movement is important for the successful performance of a match official because this game is all about angles. So having that positioning and movement to have the proper angle, to see the challenge, to see the foul, is important for any official. Positioning is a matter of the angle. What angle are you going to take to see the contact? If you are not at the right angle, naturally you are not going to see the contact properly. If we don't position ourselves in a good position, you're not able to see everything. And so you might misread a play, you might misread uh, a tackle, or you think it should be misconduct in it, and it's not because you're in a bad position. The best positioning is the position that you can see the best. You have to get off your traditional diagonal if it's needed to see what happened. Participation for referees and assistant referees is important and that, that is accomplished by reading what's going on in the game. Uh, reading what the player movement is now so you can figure out what's going to happen next. That's the anticipation part. You as a referee, you have to be able to read the game. For instance, if the game is 2-0, okay, the team is behind, they score one goal. Because what? Most of the time, the team that has a score goes to the goal mount keep the ball to get the, uh, the game started quickly. The goalkeepers and defenders do not like that. So if you anticipate when that happens, you are mindful, you run to the goal and get the ball before anybody gets there. Or you are there when the attackers come to get the ball, you stop that confrontation. How you address issues with regards to positioning and movement as a referee, a couple options are to, first of all, practical field sessions drawing on some of these skills, the other is to watch games and to see what other people are doing and learning from them as well.